The world is most certainly going to become a robo-taxi world one day. The question is when, not if. So why is that important for the environment? Well, if the AI software in robo-taxis was at a point now where it could spread quickly across the world, fossil fuels would quickly be displaced for road transportation. The reason is because electrified transportation is much cheaper than combustion. A fleet of tens of thousands or even millions of robo-taxis would not be able to compete with electric if you ran combustion vehicles. Your competition is electric, you have to be electric too. If it takes another decade to get to that point, electric vehicles will still increase in market share during that time, but the sooner transportation as a service becomes a thing, the better. Transportation as a service is estimated to cost 90% less than car ownership, therefore car ownership will greatly decrease. Car payments, repairs, cleaning, tires, insurance, all that costs a lot of money. And uh, if you put that onto a subscription service, like a Spotify for cars, it'll be a lot cheaper and a lot more preferable, especially for young people and older people. But it won't be like getting an Uber, it'll be faster, I think. Here's why. Without drivers, robo-taxis could over-deploy and be sitting on standby, not doing anything down your street. Unused robo-taxis won't cost much more than the cost of standby electricity for sitting there. So having enough to meet peak demand will make perfect sense. Or they could be sitting in an unused school parking lot just down the street from you. Same for grocery store parking lots or shopping mall parking lots that'll be underutilized in a robo-taxi world. In the dead of winter, you'd likely be able to have that car show up at your front door before you could even get there yourself. By the time you ordered it, it'd only take a minute to get there. And if it's already starting to warm up, the interior will be a lot more pleasant via speedy electric heating. Of course, you'll be able to work on your way to work, watch a movie on your commute, or watch the Clean Energy Show YouTube channel, which will be run by robots in about five years, of course. I've got a poor relative who is always looking for a ride to get out of the house. You know, she might even travel for free. Local shopping malls and restaurants could and probably will offer coupons for free rides to their establishment and maybe even throw in an ice cream cone because it'll be so cheap for them to offer that it'll be the same as offering a discount on a hamburger. Churches might even buy a group subscription that only works on Sunday mornings and it'll cost next to nothing for the church to do that and get their parishioners to the pews. When a robo-taxi drives you home from work, the screen might entice you to stop at a restaurant to get a discount on something that you've ordered previously. Governments may be able to offer the poor free rides with coupon codes free to taxpayers as a condition of regulatory approval for robo-taxi companies. The average American pays $14,000 per year for about 12,000 miles of car ownership. At first, a subscription might cost, oh, I don't know, $200 a month but that would get down to as little as $20 a month once everything got going, maybe with limited miles. That's $10,000 per year put towards vacations and other things in your life to make your life better. Aside from not having the fun of driving, you'll be more productive and the convenience will outweigh car ownership, and I think most people will go for that. If it were to get that cheap, say, in 20 years, what would happen to public transportation? I'm not sure myself. I'm actually kind of questioning that. Regulations might need to be put in place to encourage the use of trains, buses, and subways instead of individual cars. However, I think buses as we know it might not survive this transition. Train and subway stations could be made to integrate electric robo-taxis right inside their buildings for climate-protected pickups and drop-offs. In fact, apartment buildings and shopping malls could both integrate interior use of robo-taxi pickup and drop-off. With no emissions, why not? Maybe if you're elderly, the car could drive you right to the store inside the mall. When my mother got older, she only drove when absolutely necessary and when the weather was perfect. This affected her quality of life. In the future, the elderly would get out more and do so safely. In small towns where it's not economical to have a taxi service, a robo-taxi that sits most of the time will be viable without a human driver. The elderly will more easily and more often get out of their homes and go to the store, the bank, or the beauty parlor, uh, which will be run by robots, I assume. Musk and others have predicted that robotaxis will be 10 times safer than human drivers. But why not 100 times or 1,000 times better than the best human drivers? Technology will keep advancing to keep passengers safe. At some point, the cars will speak to each other wirelessly. I think we can do better than 10 times safer. 
Why will robo-taxis be cheap? Well, there's no human to pay, obviously. Vehicles will be electric and will last up to 1.5 billion kilometers according to current battery manufacturer statements. That'll probably get better as time goes on. There's less maintenance for EVs, so that makes them cheaper. And if you say you have a, a fleet of tens of thousands of EVs at a city, you will power them by building your own source of energy, which will be cheap, abundant solar. Parked cars plugged in will power the grid and earn money from that service during peak times when they are not driving. This is why Tesla's wireless charging plans may not make universal sense unless, of course, wireless can be done two ways. I'm not sure about that right now. Parking spaces will be freed up and that'll free up like almost a third of the landmass of many cities, offering us a once in a lifetime opportunity to reshape the urban landscape. Los Angeles, for example, has enough vacant parking space to fit three cities the size of San Francisco. With the right policy, they could give way to green parks instead of parking lots, uh, walkable streets, communal spaces, but especially more affordable housing that is centrally located. Autonomous transportation is coming, the only question is when. Waymo is already offering a paid service and driverless vehicles in multiple cities, but on a fairly limited basis. Surely in 10 years, the technology will be improved enough for mass expansion by whomever wins the AI driving race.